parts of the fruit okay so today we will go to the next topic that is the parts of a seed so as we have discussed there are so many parts of a fruit already we have discussed about the dry fruits we have discussed about the fleshy fruits okay so here we will talk about the seed so what are the parts of the seed okay so if we will see a typical seed then what all are the parts that constitute the seed so here we will talk both about a monocot seed and a dicot seed if you all have remember in our first class uh, while uh, i was teaching you the fibrous root and tap root at that time already we have discussed what is monocot and what is dicot monocot seeds are the kind of seed that contains two cotyledons and dicot the I mean, monocot seed is seed that contains single cotyledon one cotyledon and dicot seeds are the seeds that contains two cotyledons okay mono means one and di means two monocot seed and dicot seed so what are cotyledons cotyledons are the first leaf of a seed okay so here we will discuss which part of the seed we call it as cotyledon so whichever seed that contains single cotyledon we call it as monocotyledon and whichever seed which contains two cotyledons we call it as dicotyledon okay so here we will discuss the parts of the seed both for monocot seed and for a dicot seed okay so here by the help of uh, a drawing i am showing you what are all the parts of a monocot seed and a dicot seed so here at first i am drawing a monocot seed suppose this is a maize seed okay and here i am drawing a dicot seed like this any other seed like rajma beans okay we can take got it so here i have done a monocot seed and here it is a dicot seed see dicot seed are not always open i am showing you because all the parts that will be clear to you actually it will be in close format only as you take rajma seed okay that will be in close format but when we will open that uh, seed then we can get the two parts okay like that open one i have done so let's start the parts of the seed one by one so here i have written the four parts of the seed at first i have written seed coat then embryo cotyledons and and the form there are four parts of the seed i have written already so one by one we will discuss so first one i am telling seed coat as we have discussed fruit coat what is fruit coat it is a covering that covers a fruit so seed coat is a covering that covers the seed okay so it is a covering that covers a seed okay which protects the seed from external environment we call it as what seed coat this is the seed coat here also in dicotyledon seed we can do this is the seed coat don't worry all these things i will show you in our practical class okay in our practical work we will have a dissection of seed as we have done the dissection of coat the same we will do the dissection of seed then i will show you all the parts of seed okay so here little darkening i am doing so this is the what seed coat here i am writing seed coat both for monocot seed and for dicot seed then after the seed coat it has endosperm in fourth number i have written seed endosperm so after seed coat a layer present we call it as endosperm but one difference i am saying about the presence of endosperm in monocot and dicot listen it carefully in monocot seeds the endosperms are visible but in dicot seeds the endosperms they are not visible okay 
we can identify the endosperm in monocortes but we cannot identify the endosperms in dicortes okay so what is the work of endosperm endosperm actually nourishes the embryo we will come to the part of it okay what is embryo i will tell so just remember after seed it got a layer we call it as what endosperm So endosperm is visible in monocot, whereas it is not distinct in dicorsis. After endosperm, it got cotyledons. So this part, this full part, we call it as cotyledon. This is also cotyledon. Okay, see so here in third we have written cotyledon. are the four parts already we have discussed so what what again i am repeating the first part that is the covering of the seed we call it a seed coat which protects the seed after seed coat we got endosperm which is distinct in monocot whether it is not clear in dicorsis after endosperm we got cotyledons cotyledons are the first leaf of a seed as it is a monocot seed it got only single cotyledon and as it is a dicot seed it got two cotyledons over here okay then after cotyledon we got embryo okay now when we are talking about seed coat one more thing we have to note in seed coat in the outer layer of seed there is a small what hole or small pore okay that will be a small pore we call it as micropyle what we call it as micropyle or micropyle pore also we can say so what is the work of this micropyle micropyle helps in absorbing water for the seed so why absorption of water is necessary for seed one example i am telling you when your mother is soaking the dry pea seed okay so when uh, they want to make a curry they have to soak it overnight then they are preparing curry of that uh, uh, what mutter we are saying the pea seed so after soaking the pea seed you might have observed before it was very really hard and after soaking it overnight when you will uh, you know hold that it will little bit softer why because by what gaining water it will absorb water then when it will absorb water you might have noticed the seed coat will come out easily when you will take a dry seed and when you will take a soaked seed this one also i will show you 
when we will take a dry seed and when we will take a soaked seed the dry seed is very hard or very tough so that we cannot take out its seed coat but if we will take a what soaked seed then already the seed has taken the water and it swells okay the seed will be squished the seed is squished or it is in the squished format when it is dry but when it will absorb water it will what it will what enlarge its size okay it will swell so that the outer covering the seed coat will brush and when seed coat will brush then it will be easy for the sprouts to come out it will be easy for germination this part we will discuss in germination okay so this is the micropyle pore which helps in absorbing water for the seed okay so uh, this is clear seed coat is the outer covering there is a point over the seed coat uh, which allows the water to go inside the seed we call it as micropyle okay after that endosperm is there it is distinct in monocot whether it is not distinct in dicotyledonous endosperm is generally what it helps in uh, giving nourishment to the embryo after endosperm we can get the cotyledon cotyledons are the first leaf of a seed okay so here in monocot we got a single cotyledon whereas in dicot we got two cotyledons that's why we call it as monocotyledon seed and we call it as dicotyledon seed okay so this is cotyledon then the next part is embryo so let's talk little bit more about embryo embryo is the main part of a seed okay why because when seed will germinate the germination will takes place from embryo only so if we will see an embryo it has two parts here you can see this and this here also you can see this part and this part so we can name it as radical and plumule okay this is the plumule radical okay so an embryo has two parts the plumule and the radical the plumule generally it will give size to the shoot it will go up and the radical it will give size to root it will come down okay so when the seed will germinate actually i'm drawing here okay don't worry the details i will tell you in germination part okay so when the seed will germinate the plumule part will go up forming a shoot and the radical part will come down forming a what root okay detail we will discuss in germination part so this is all about what embryo remember an embryo contains two parts plumule and radical plumule gives rise to shoot and radicus gives rise to root so how seed is present in monocot and how it is present in dicotyledonous okay i will show you in our practical class i will show you the plumules and radicles so here we got the what parts of a seed it is very very simple the first layer the first part of a seed what it is seed coat after seed coat endosperm do not get confused in monocotyledon plant or in monocotyledon seed the endosperm is visible whereas in dicotyledon seed the endosperm is not clearly distinct okay after endosperm we got cotyledons cotyledons are the first leaf of a seed in monocot seeds it got only single cotyledon and in dicot seeds it got two cotyledons then embryo after uh, cotyledon we got the main part of the seed that is the embryo okay an embryo only gives rise to a plant a small plant so an embryo has only two portion as we discussed in our first class that uh, if we will see a plant generally it has two parts uh, two parts what are the two parts one part is above the soil and another part is below the soil so the above part we call it as shoot and the below part which is present below the soil we call it as root so these embryo has two parts one is the plumule and another is the radical so these plumules only they give rise to what 
shoe and these radicals only they will give stretch to what root okay so these are the what parts of a seed again go through the topic i mean uh, after this i will show you uh, the practical video of this okay so again go through that clearly we can see the all these parts that we have discussed now all these parts we will see in a seed we can dissect a seed and there we can see the different parts of this okay so again go through your book again try to analyze the things again read out explore some more things about this okay and uh, the next topic that is the part what germination we will discuss in our next